Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today's video is a swatch and first impressions of the King Art Mixed Media Gel Sticks. Uh, quick disclaimer, this is an adult colouring channel. This is a product unboxing and by no means a review. I haven't used these, pet, these uh, gel crayons at all other than to you know open and play so this is just showing you the box as it comes the items as they unbox and i'm going to swatch them out for you today so yeah just so you know and of course i am not affiliated or sponsored by this company at all it's just to show you how they come i do believe these full set of these is a 48 set and they come in these two packs of 24 which is what I got. This is apparently the pastel colours is what it says for this box, although um, how pastel they are, I'm not sure. Uh, they come in this little cardboard box and it's the 24 Comfort Grip Gel Sticks. They say it's a soft buttery texture, beautiful pastel colours, odourless and non-toxic, so you can stick your fingers in, they say, and the storage cases are included. And um, you get the little colour swatch on the back to take those with a pinch of salt usually. Uh, these can be quite expensive so I'd been holding off and I just hadn't bothered to pick any up because I'm not paying nearly £100 in gel sticks when some of the very affordable uh, budget options work rather wonderfully and I already have gelatos. Um, so these I found thank you thank you to lily for a very budget price from tk maxx here in the uk um you can get them on amazon so i will link that down below that is an affiliate link um so you get these two plastic trays um, they clip closed on the sides. They are quite a nice, I need to open them the right way up, quite a nice storage solution to be honest. Um, although mine will end up in the drawer with all my others I'm sure. And if I can get them both on camera for you, I will try my best, then uh, that is the set of colours that you get. The nice thing about these is that they do indeed have a colour number and a colour name to them, which um, obviously you won't get with the more budget sets. Someone did ask me um, to kind of compare them to the silky gel crayons that I like, and um, that of course would be these. I have the 36 set, I believe it is, of the silky gel crayons by TBC. Uh, which is the best crafts and these are a very budget gel crayon available on Amazon and of course the main difference is just from the bits I've seen is these are aimed at children so they are brighter more predominant kind of you know very true to colour blue purple yellow green and um, just very bright childish colours to them they work however beautifully they have a really big range of colours you do get browns and greys in these which is nice and indeed they're all like a i think a silver and a gold in this set i believe yeah and uh, i have used these i always use my gel crayons dry and um, with a craft brush which is the way that i prefer to use them for backgrounds and they work beautifully for such a budget price these really are um, an amazing little find i find them to be pretty much exactly the same as the shuttle art version which i have a 48 set of they're both very budget prices very similar in colors um, just nice bright colors you could mix them to uh you know get more of a a vintage hue if you prefer it is still doable so the main difference i've found with the king art is you get slightly more product to the stick and you're going to get that more muted color palette that's a bit more you know artistically thought through apart from this luminous pink that is in this set they're more cream ivory burgundy uh, muted purples sea greens so you know instead of that kind of bright yellow bright green bright blue bright pink so they do make rather a nice companion set if you can find them for less of a ridiculous price to be honest because there's no way i would have been paying um 
well, like nearly £100 for the set of these. It is the main reason that I've not been collecting the distress crayons because they're just so expensive for the amount you get in a pack, for the amount of packs you have to collect. It's, uh, you know, I have enough gel crayons now to have appeased my um, sticky fingers for needing a bit of everything. But they are beautiful colours. So I'm going to pop these tubs to one side and we will swatch out so you can see the colours that you get in this set. I'm gonna just I'm gonna drop you in a little bit so you can see. We'll refocus and uh, we will have a bit of a look. So we have 001 light tan. Zero zero two ivory, and the only thing with these is they're very much made for a right-hander, so that you hold them this way and you can see the um, colour, number, and name. It's only a small right, but obviously, as a left-hander who holds them this way, everything is upside down. So zero zero three pale yellow. I already filmed this once, did all the swatching and then the footage wasn't usable. So we are on take two. Uh, that is the YouTube life. 004 sand. Zero zero 005 peach. Zero zero 006 raspberry. That is quite a nice pinky red. Zero zero seven burgundy. That's a little bit more purple than it's showing up on my camera. Hopefully when it uploads it will be a bit more true to form. Zero zero eight baby pink. That is a gorgeous bubblegum pink. Uh, 009 blush if you can hear snorting in my background my dog is asleep I can never tell how much my camera will pick up he's all the way down the other side of the hall and I'm pretty sure it probably can still hear him 010 petal that is uh, not showing up on my camera it's a fluorescent pink and probably the one out of this set that I would not gravitate towards. Uh, I have found all the others to be really nice, but yeah, on camera that looks like a muted pink, but in life that is an absolute fluorescent. 011 light purple. Uh, very pretty. I am just wondering, guys, if, because uh, it is daytime that I'm filming, if we turn one of these off i'm thinking although a little bit darker yeah can you see how much more you can see those colors properly let's let that refocus and uh, we will work like that zero one two purple that is the first set Um, let's open this the right way up. There we go. And then 013 Iris. Zero one four Periwinkle. I'm assuming all the blues are in the other set, which is a shame for me because I do like to use uh, blue. <laughs> 015 sky blue. 016 light aqua. Zero one seven teal. Zero one eight mint. Zero one nine 
lime green. The caps have a really nice click. They're solid, they won't drop off. They're not too difficult to pop off either, but they've got that proper click that you know your caps aren't gonna loosen and your product dry out while it's stored in your cupboard, which is nice. 020 C green, and that is a beautiful colour that you don't see in your other sets, and it's like a grey blue. 021 Cocoa. A beautiful pinky tan, like a mink colour, which again is one I do not have and I'm glad to. 022 Taupe, it's got a bit more pink to it, again a nice addition to my collection. 023 Smoke, it's very very pale um, lavender. And then the 024 Cool Grey. This beautiful almost purple toned grey there. So I'm gonna we're gonna lift you up uh, just so you can see those a little bit more true to form in the light, and uh, that is the colour range. They are actually having said you know earlier that they were not pastel colours. Apart from probably the burgundy, they are quite a nice pastelish tone and you've got to remember they are going to be blended out. So let's take a darker colour like this one. When you actually move that on your page, it is going to be more this colour. So it is going to be, you know, that little bit more pastel toned than it shows swatching straight from the tube. So they're going to look a lot darker in there kits than what you will actually get kind of bl blended and spread out onto the background of your page as with all of this format of crayon so yeah guys um like i say i have not used them yet other than to have a little play i think i played with some clouds with the white <laughs> um on a video that i did a, a bit ago for you guys but they will go into my rotation and i will use them for a bit and obviously in one of my coloring chats i will let you know how i'm finding them compared to everything else i will say though for the main part they're all pretty much similar to each other i don't think i've used a gel crayon even down to the very budget prices that haven't you know created what i wanted them to and uh, yeah, I hope this was useful for you guys to let you decide, you know, whether the colours are the ones that you want to add to your collection or not. Or even if you're thinking, well, I'd rather have a play with a new medium uh, at a cheaper rate. So I'm going to go for the Shutlaw or the Silky Gel crayons instead, um, just so you can make informed choices for purchases you want to make. Any questions that I have the answers to, I would be happy to answer down below. As always, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you enjoy the channel, please subscribe and I will see you in the next video.